Hey Capricorn, hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for April 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, let's see Capricorn, what is going on with you in April, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, who starting off the reading, we have the devil, okay, which is your energy crossed by the queen of wands. All right, so it could be that you, I do feel like this is you, um, you're kind of like not really feeling yourself. You're not really feeling yourself. I feel like there might be some, something that has caused you to feel a little bit um, insecure maybe. Um, because here's the thing though, okay, the Queen of Wands is here, so that confidence, it's there, it's there somewhere beneath all the fear, you have that, um, I feel like it's just being covered up right now by some kind of, um, a fear, maybe even an attachment, or just some kind of, a, a negative thought pattern that you might be telling yourself, and it's just not true, okay, um, but let's see... For you, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, see, so here you are again as this Queen of Pentacles. These are all your qualities that you embody, right? They're, they're there, but it's like there's something here that with the Eight of Swords, I feel like you might be telling yourself, and it, of course, it's in some way related to a particular connection, right? Because this is a love reading. Um, and we do have the Two of Cups here. So there is a love connection here that is on your mind. And maybe something has happened um, with this person or maybe something has happened outside of this person. But it's like it's affecting the way that you feel about yourself, which then in turn affects the connection in some way. So we'll get more when we clarify. But let's see for them. We have Strength. Okay, so that's Leo's Energy. The Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So this is somebody who does really love you. This is somebody who does have a lot of emotions for you. Um, there's something here that they're dealing with, though. I feel like, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, it could be that this person has um, resisted something in this connection where they were just, like, almost like restraining themselves, keeping themselves back and just maybe making things more difficult than they have to be. Um, but again, it's like the love is there though. And it does look like this person is really moving in that direction of love. And they have not given up yet. Um, let's see, the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so that's action, that's movement. This could also be um, communication here. So let's see. So let's clarify the devil with the Queen of Wands. All right, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Cups. All right, so it's like you were you were expecting this person to give more than what they actually gave to you. That's how this is coming in. I feel like there was this expectation or this waiting, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing at all. You know, maybe what you were expecting is what you actually deserve. And there was, there's disappointment here attached to that. So I don't know what, what may have happened here, but this affected you in some way, in a negative way. And again, you know, I mean, that's only natural, of course, you know, we're, we're human, so we're going to be affected by other people and the people we interact with and especially the people that we have emotions for or the people that, um, you know, we value in some way or another. So there's just a lot of disappointment that came with this because this person did not give to you what you were expecting that they would. 
So let's see this Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, so that's Virgo energy showing up here. Okay, so the good news is that you are you are building yourself back up after this. You are building yourself back up. Um, I feel like it is like in small steps, but there's a lot that you're learning about yourself and you are going deep within and finding your true qualities, your true worth again, to feel like yourself again and to just kind of remember what it is that you do deserve and that your worth is never dependent on how somebody else treats you. Or it's not dependent on, you know, what someone else gives to you. Let's see the Eight of Swords. The Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is a work this is a work in progress. I feel like, yes, you know, there, there are still these, you know, um, negative thoughts that may or may not be subconscious, actually. Like, you might not be so aware of them. But you're you're taking your power back you're taking your power back here you're taking it step by step and it's like you're you're working in that direction and the message for you here from spirit is that yes you know um it is a step by step process you're it's like you're you're gathering all your pieces basically you're gathering all your pieces putting them back together and therefore rising up as this emperor over those um thoughts which, again, you know, were influenced by the way someone else treated you here. So, and I'm not even really sure if it's this person down here um, or if it's somebody else. Okay, so you will be the judge of that. So let's see the Two of Cups. We have the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. So this may have... This may have even led to you not trusting either either this person or either yourself or just love in general. So this may have even, this may be affecting like another connection that you might um, be facing currently or maybe a connection that might be coming up in the future or just a potential connection. I do see love here though. I do see something, something coming in for you, but it's really just a matter of you trusting your own intuition rather than trusting that Eight of Swords energy that was created by an external influence. All right, let's see the strength card for the other person here or another person here. And we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups showing up again. Okay, there is somebody here who really does have a lot of love for you. A lot of emotions, a lot of love, compassion, understanding, who just really feels for you. I'm not sure if you know who this is. Um, it could be somebody that's in your life that you're not even really aware of. It, it, or it could even be this same person. Again, it's going to vary, okay, for each person. Um, the reason why I'm saying you might not be aware of it is also because of that high priestess. And it just feels like, yeah, you're... I don't think you'd be feeling this way if you really were aware of how this person feels here. Um, there's, there's definitely a lot of love here and it's very powerful and it's very, very strong by this person. Let me see that Nine of Wands. The Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. There's definitely conflict here. There's either been conflict between you and this person, if this is somebody that you know of, and that has led to them um, feeling a lot of pain, or this person is just feeling feeling that heartbreak because maybe you're not paying any attention to them, okay? Again, I feel like there's two, definitely at least two different scenarios here. In both cases, though, there is conflict. Like, this person is really wanting to put up a fight um, for you. And I feel like they've been hurt in the past, or, or they're even feeling hurt now. But they're not, they're not giving up. Um, if for some of you, I'm also getting that this might be a person that you do know of that um, 
you've had some kind of an argument with, possibly that argument has created a lot of pain for them. They're feeling heartbroken over that. Let's see the Ace of Cups. All right, we have the Fool and the Tower. Ooh. Mm. I'm getting here, I mean, with the, the Ace of Cups and the Fool. It's like, I feel like this tower has already been created or it's going to be created, but either way, this person wants to rebuild the tower. That's what this is about. Um, If you're rejecting this person, then yes, it's definitely creating a tower moment for them, which means that they're feeling like their world is being destroyed, they're still feeling that pain, um, they're, they're feeling like a crisis, basically. And they're feeling this crisis because this person has so much love for you, basically. I mean, we have, I'm not making this up, we have the Ace of Cups twice, we have the Queen of Cups. Um, there's a lot of pain here, obviously, with the Three of Swords. So yeah, this is definitely somebody who, if I mean, and if they weren't presenting themselves in this way in the past, it could be that they're having this realization now. Um, but I mostly feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be somebody that you just were not even aware of. And if you were, well then, you know, um, Maybe you did know how they feel, but there was just a lot of conflict between the two of you. And of course, you know, if somebody is not treating you in the right way, of course, you do not settle for that. And I feel like you already know that. You're a Capricorn. You you know that. You know your sense of self-worth. I feel like this was just like a little bump in the road where, you know, you were affected because, because you really um, felt the strength of this connection. So this person is wanting to rebuild that tower, whatever it is that has happened between the two of you. They're wanting to take a leap of faith here. They're wanting to, um, and it feels it feels unknown to them as to how exactly to do that or where, where it's going to lead or, you know, what exactly how to do it. But they're really wanting to do that. And I actually do see them taking action here. So let's see the Eight of Wands for the potential outcome. The Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, so this is all very, very positive actually here. So, again, it's going to be your call um, exactly what you want to do with this, but I definitely see some communication with a lot of effort behind this communication or behind this action. A lot of effort, a lot of focus, really wanting um, this to be successful, and I do see it coming from a place of healing, from a place of... Um, wanting peace basically wanting things to be healed so the intentions are there and I also see the action being there so it might still be a work in progress after that but I feel like initially whoever this is I mean they really want to make things work with you and they want this to be a success they want to work on this they have a lot of drive <laughs> for this so Capricorn if this resonated with you, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's get the final message for you. And we have imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So just take that as it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, I do see it as being able to relate to this reading. So yeah. Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.